Good evening. I hope you're enjoying the Christmas Carol Festival. Although it's very different, it fits in beautifully with the year we have had. 2020 has been a very different year. Not only has the pandemic frightened and given rise to a lot of concerns that our people have, as well as myself, but also it has laid bare certain in in iniquities and struggles that have long been a part of the world's structure. And so there's a lot of unease, a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration, and a lot of concern. I'd like to give you maybe a meditation for this Advent season. It's a meditation I've been using a great deal over the last nine months. It's a meditation rooted in the scriptures of Jesus walking on the water. Not Jesus in the boat calming the storm, but Jesus walking on the water. It's found in Matthew's Gospel, in John's Gospel, and in Mark's Gospel. But for my own reflection, I focused on Matthew's. Just as a reminder, that the disciples are in the boat, they're crossing the Sea of Galilee, but Jesus remained on land to pray to his Father. In the middle of the night, the wind stirred up the waves, and all of a sudden, their boat was being rocked to and fro by waves that were breaking over the bow. That's how strong the wind was. It was a very fearful time, and the boat was stuck in the middle of the sea. Then they saw Jesus walking on the water. At first they thought Jesus was a ghost until he identified himself and told them, Be still, it is I. Do not be afraid. My sisters and my brothers, at this time, the waves and the wind of the pandemic, of our political situation, not only in this country but around the world, the issues of justice, of equality, of peace, of health care, and of hope and religious liberties. All these are moments of concern for so many people. And yet in the midst of these waves and these winds stands our Lord Jesus Christ saying, be still. It is I, do not be afraid. Sometime during this Advent season, I would invite you to spend time in prayer and identify each of the waves that are rocking your boat at this moment. It could be concern for loved ones who are sick with the virus, or concern for sons and daughters who are working as essential workers or away at school and fearful that they might come in contact with the virus. It could be concern about your job or the fact you've been laid off or furloughed. It could be concern about whether you will have food to put on your table. All these can cause our boats, the bark of Peter, to rock back and forth and scare us. But it's so important that we realize that in the midst of the storm, Jesus stands and says, it is I. Do not be afraid. It is my hope that during this Advent season, you will come to understand how close God is to you through his son, Jesus Christ. And let us always be mindful that Our Lady stands with her son's church, praying with us and for us as we move forward in the hope that one day this pandemic will be part of history and we can move forward. But let our movement of forward be one of justice, of life, of peace, and of dignity for all human beings. And let us join with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
in being Christ to others. It is my hope and the hope of the pastoral staff here at St. Robert's that your Advent and your Christmas, though different, will be a blessing. For the Lord Jesus is with us, born in Bethlehem, but comes to us each day in his people, the church. God bless.